Let's now give you what's required to set up your Amazon seller account. So you have decided where you're going to sell. That may be North America only, Europe only, or you've chosen to be aggressive and get everything set up together. Whatever your choice, know that it's the right decision. I recommend selling globally, but I certainly won't push you into one or the other. Now, if you're selling in both, you will require separate seller accounts. That is, a North American Amazon seller account and a European seller account. Generally speaking, this will be in the UK. However, if you, for example, live in Germany and have chosen to set up your company in Germany, then you'd set up your unified European account starting in Germany. The good news is that the setup process for a seller account is similar in both marketplaces. There will just be a couple of different pieces of information required that are easily accessible once you have the correct company structure in place. I'm not going to go through an entire account setup as Amazon will guide you through the process step by step. I'll simply tell you what you require and all you need to do is set up an account using that information. This is very simple. Remember, if you have any issues setting up, you can contact Amazon Seller Support. He'll help you out with any issues. Here's a list of what you'll need for both marketplaces. Email address for account or login. You will need a separate address for both marketplaces. You can set up a simple Gmail address if you don't want to set up a domain-based email address. That is amazonuk at yourcompanyname.com and so on. You need a strong password. You can use passwordgenerator.net if you want to have them give you a randomized, incredibly strong password. You need your company name. You need your company registration numbers and IDs. You'll receive all of this from the accountant who set up your company. You need company address details. Again, you may have two companies if launching in both markets. You need a company phone number. This can be a simple Google or Skype number if you want to set that up instead of using your actual phone number. You need a store display name. This can be different to your company name. You need an international chargeable credit card and you need beneficial owner details and that'll be your license or passport details. So the details of whoever is considered shareholders and beneficial owners in the business. This will include a driver's license and passport but may also include proof of name and address of the beneficial owners. You need business bank account information. The bank account is actually not technically required to get your Amazon account started, but it is required to receive disbursements. In other words, money from Amazon when they pay you. Remember, your bank account must be in the business's name. Now, simply collate all the information and go to the Amazon marketplace that you want to open your account in and use this to get set up. Collating and setting up your company and bank account will be where you spend the most time. But this can be done in a matter of weeks usually and in some cases days. 